when we first walked out again, it was butterflies and anticipation, but as soon as you kind of saw the giant, even though we'd seen him so much when we were doing the practice and stuff like that, it was a very, very kind of epic moment. Um, and did hit you a little bit with the emotion of it and the kind of the energy of the situation and what was going on. So it's brilliant seeing him like stand up, wake up and come to life. Obviously he did it on the Friday and um, the nerves were going a little bit from it then. Um, seeing the crowd kind of energised you a little bit more and then got you going and you got into your rhythm for it and it was absolutely amazing. Um, today even more so. Um, the French team were absolutely amazing and the crowd even more so over the water in Liverpool. And again, being the last time, the French guys are trying to get everyone going a little bit more and get everyone kind of g'd up a little bit and a bit more energy. So it was amazing, the emotions were fantastic. Working on such just remarkable puppets has been such a brilliant opportunity. It, it's just not going to happen again um, and I love working with puppets but these they're just so special they have such character and they're loved by so many you can see it in the faces of the people that you pass while you're working it's it just fills you up and really keeps you going and gives you the energy that you need to get the job done so at first the anticipation is uh, quite nerve-wracking you can actually sort of visualise what you're actually going to be doing and actually have this concept about you know, you're going to be taking this huge giant and you're going to be taking it slowly, step by step, down the streets. And it doesn't really prepare you for when you actually see the crowds themselves. And it is that, that moment having the crowds that help motivate you and give you the enthusiasm because it's very tiring. I mean, the fact that you're jumping off a giant, um, holding onto a rope, you're using a lot of your body weight, you're pulling down on a rope, so you're using muscles which pretty much you've never even used before, and you have to give it back in a correct and you know coherent manner, otherwise it could just mess up the whole step, and it, the whole image of this giant moving can be completely ruined. So you do get very tired, and it can be very draining, because not only are you physically active, but you're also mentally active about all your actions and what you're going to do so having the crowds on each side cheering you on like shouting and screaming and some of them even knowing your names um, just give you that enthusiasm that's saying yeah I, I can actually keep doing this I can keep going and it's such a experience that you, you just don't actually see anywhere else in this situation because with moving these giants they just bring so much like enthusiasm and so much imagination to the actual city itself and to the people who obviously are there it just changes the whole perspective of things and it just is such a, an enlightening and lovely experience um it's the whole experience really has been completely indescribable, if I'm honest, although I'm going to try and describe it now. Um, seeing those large crowds, especially when we came out and we were right by the Liber building and just as far as the eye could see were people wanting to see this giant, it, it really did take our breath away. We just all turned to each other and was like, wow. And it, it's been amazing for us as the English part of the team, as for only two weeks we've been rehearsing, but on the last day, you saw the French team, they were crying, they were hugging each other, they were, they were laughing, they were cheering, they were getting everyone to cheer with them and you just saw how much it meant to them to see not only that we were enjoying it but the people of Liverpool had enjoyed their entire experience of it and honestly it's probably been the, the highlight of my year if not at least the past decade and my life. I remember very specifically the um, 
the moment on the second day when the giant got down to uh, down to the Liva building and we looked out to the right and there were just people as far as the eye could see there wasn't a single patch of road to be seen and then we looked out to the left and it was exactly the same in the other direction I have never seen that before and I don't think I'll probably ever see it again it was an incredible event to be part of and something that I shall always be immensely proud of When he has a drink of water, I go down to help lift his arms uh, and pull his uh, wrist up from the bottom on the ground. Uh, and as the water um, was falling out of the funnel, um, uh, the sunlight hit it and there was just this beautiful rainbow and the rain was like falling on me and I was pulling with my teammates and the people, the crowd around me, the energy was just so magical and it's just a memory that I'm going to treasure forever. It has been an absolutely amazing two and a half weeks. Um, it's a bit like what you would imagine running away to join the circus would be like. There's a load of very, very talented French people that have come over here, taught us all sorts of new skills. The camaraderie has been brilliant. We've made loads of friends. We've all, if you'll pardon the pun, pulled together. Um, and we've, I've made some friends here that I, I think I'm gonna have for, for many many years i can't believe i've actually taken part in an event that looks like it did on behalf of this company royal deluxe i hug you in my giant arms merci thank you merci thank you, merci. Thank you.